Playing putt-putt with your child or grandchild is almost a rite of passage as you try so desperately hard to keep that ball away from water or get it just underneath the windmill. Believe it or not, there's a local group of miniature golfers who take this sport so seriously they have their own league. This morning, Michael Schlesinger plays around with these mini golf masters now competing in their 15th season. Okay, admit it. Miniature golf for many of us is a guiltless pleasure. Yeah. Wow. Drano. Anybody of any age can play. It's not super competitive. You can play with your grandparents, you can play with your, your toddlers, and everybody can be good at it. Whether it's your first time out or you've been playing for years, everybody has a good chance. For some mini golfers like Carl Barth, they take the game a little more seriously. Just look at his club. It's the one with the suction at the end of it for picking up his balls. Uh, I got this made at the Golf Expo uh, this year, and uh, it's a wood. It's several different woods. Uh, it's a double-sided putter, so I can hit both left and right. Uh, I had a gold golf ball inlaid into the head of the club, as well as uh, it's got my name and uh, other, uh, the information of the, the company that built it. Barth and at least 20 others are part of a professional putt-putt league. It consists of playing eight different courses over the course of eight weeks. These players know every place they compete like the back of their hands. Um, Mulligan's down in Racine, which is the last one for this year, that one's just a very hard course. There's less uh, opportunity to, uh, to not mess up your shot. So there's a lot of water hazards, which add a penalty stroke to your shot. And there's very little opening for a hole in one. So. It's, you're usually getting a three or a four when on most courses you're getting a one or a two. Last year I was one stroke away from the course record actually. People that do this are weird enough to do this but not weird enough that they're too weird. I mean, we're in a mini golf league. We're a little off. So says Bart Winkler, who's been at it for years. Curve. He actually ran a mini golf league when he was in high school. You start to meet more people. There's an end of the year party. I got a couple trophies for the events I did win last year. Not the big one, but it's just the camaraderie thing. It's fun. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. There's a lot of people who it. stay inside their comfort zone. I always like to try new things. So if I see something that looks interesting, uh, no matter what it is, I'm going to go try it. I take the bit of advice offered by David Benda. So I spent a little time putting around at swing time in Germantown. And wouldn't you know it, I get some valuable advice on tackling the tee off. Uh, not hard enough. But you want to make s solid contact with the ball. You don't want to, you know, make the club head uh, tilt back and forth or anything like that. You want a nice smooth stroke. Um, the ball, you, the target's not moving. The ball is what's going to be moving. So focus on that. You just got to look at it, and you don't always have to think of the most obvious way to hit the ball. I mean, usually the route that everybody yeah. seems to go might seem to work well, but it's when you find those other angles or banking off of different. Uh, obstacles and stuff like that, um, you'll find that you might be more successful than the typical route that people go. This particular group has been around more than a decade. Oh boy. The sport itself dates back at least 100 years and has been called so many different things. Well, I mean, I'll take that. There's miniature golf, there's crazy golf, there's goofy golf, there's carpet golf. Um, I mean, there's so many different names for it. Essentially, they all roll into the same thing. You can really call it whatever you want. People get the idea. Whatever you call it, you're bound to have a good time. Of course, as you're attempting that hole in one. Here we go. And avoid being in the drink. Oh. Can help satisfy your thirst even more for successfully hitting the links on a smaller scale. It's awesome. It's cool that we can do this and hang out and and just play a adult version of a game on a kid's course. Last year I led the entire season until the final week when I choked and the guy who runs it now actually won the league. So it's very competitive. Um, it is very competitive, at least for me. I take it very seriously because I think I should be good. Good excuse to walk and, I don't know, shoot a golf ball through a, a windmill. 